bro. Oh my god. Show them outside the window. I get to see the garden outside too. This is one of the best rooms. Let me feel this bed. Yeah, the bed is nice and comfortable. I like it. I just love that this room is white. tonight and just know I'm only staying here yeah for just one night and I gotta say guys this is like a really oh you can't see me the light but I gotta say this is like a really unexpected experience for me and I'm telling you I freaking love this this is just really really crazy I'm going to be spending just one night away from my own apartment house and I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a little bit depressing because then it's just like a day that I'm not going to like be with anybody, like no family, no friends. I mean, well, I do have friends, but like we have our own rooms and everything. So it's not gonna be the same. Like I did all everything I could to like convince my parents to be able to just let me go on this trip because at first they didn't want me to go and I kind of understood that. I understand their feeling because they don't not want me, you know, going to some random campus that they have never been before and they do not want me to go, but I was definitely able to convince them to let me go. And I love them for that. I just finished texting my mom telling her how great it's been. And I texted her goodnight already. And it's currently um, one right now, one in the morning, I think. Yeah, it's one in the morning because I spent the whole day playing games with my supervisors and my friends. These people that I was staying, that I'm staying with, are the ones who were in my class for the, uh, the, for where I was working, LaGuardia College. I kind of had fun working there too, not, no lie. I mean, the assignments, don't get me wrong, the assignments were trash to me. They, they nobody likes assignments like that. You do not want to know the assignments that I just finished. And I just finished like a really big assignment that like, I had to like do links and everything, but I mean, that's not the point of this. But yeah, I just finished brushing my teeth and everything. And now I'm going to head to bed. I mean, like, as we say, hit, hit the hay. Um, I'm going to start heading to bed now. Cause I mean, I, may, I probably don't look tired, but I'm tired deep down inside cause I never get full hours of sleep. Not since I was 10 years old. <laughs> But I'm gonna try to just at least get maybe six to seven hours of sleep because breakfast is that breakfast starts at nine o'clock, I think. That's what the supervisor told me. So yeah, I'm gonna be up for breakfast. I might take some like clips there just to show you where we're eating and everything. But I think we, we were going to be eating in the same place that I just uh, showed you. Again, <laughs> I'm gonna head to bed. Oh my God. And I'll see you all in the morning. Peace. Good morning, guys. Well, I look like crap. It is currently 7.30 in the morning. Um, 
right now. I'm going to go into my robe and take a nice morning shower. Um, then after that, I will meet you guys downstairs to get breakfast. Uh, I don't know if anybody else is awake right now. So, yeah, I'm gonna go and change into my robe and I'll meet you guys downstairs. See you down. Hey guys, I'm in the lobby right now and I finished doing my hair. And when I walked in the hall, it didn't sound like anybody was awake right now. I mean, which is understandable because it's pretty early in the morning. So I'm just gonna wait till nine because breakfast is supposed to be served by nine o'clock. I'm just going to eat with everybody else. So that way we could just continue the day afterwards. Um, I might not be able to do any more clips after the breakfast because we can't really be on our phones too much with this type of event. I'm just gonna wait for everybody to get up because I think I'm, I believe I'm the first one who's up early. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for them and I'll see you guys soon. Alrighty guys, uh, not such good news. Um, I didn't get any clips of like, you know, me eating breakfast or anything because I was starving and I couldn't even like touch my phone. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is my last day. It is now, I think, yeah, it's already like two o'clock by now. And now I have to say goodbye to this apartment because my parents are waiting to pick me up and I gotta say bye to my friends. And yeah, this is like the only time I'm going to experience something like this. And I'm going to be like the last time in this room. I had such a very good sleep tonight. I don't think I ever experienced such a good sleep in a really like, you know, <laughs> weird, like white apartment and everything. I really wish I didn't have to leave here, but you know, time flies and you know, you gotta do other stuff besides new things. But I have to go back home now and I have to go back to my normal life. So I'm gonna head downstairs because everybody's downstairs waiting to say goodbye to me. I'm not going to do any like filming me like, you know, just in the car because you know where I'm going to be going after that. I really wanted to stay longer, but they only just made this like a one night thing, like just a one night retreat, which kind of sucked to me. But I mean, it was still worth it. I at least got to stay one night by myself, nobody else, just myself. Um, and I'm really thankful, really, I am. And I'm also saying goodbye to you right now because I have to do a lot of editing when I get home, definitely. So guys, thank you so much for enjoying me with this whole dorming experience. I really loved it, not gonna lie to you, I really did. And I'm pretty sure you already could tell that by now that because I really don't wanna live, leave here. I wanna actually live here. <laughs> but that can't happen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to please give it a like, subscribe, and peace out, y'all.